We've been on this journey with Clementine since 2012. We had no idea that Clem was going to mean so much to players. When we first started working on Walking Dead, we knew it was a redemption story about the man named Lee. And Clementine was the lens that we see all of our actions. For this to really work, I think we needed a Clementine who was smart. We needed a character who was self-reliant. We needed a character who was there to help you and, and not be a hindrance. <laughs> It was kind of a risk putting a kid uh, as a main character in a game. The fact that she was such a likable character, her heartbreaking relationship with Lee was amazing. She started out as a symbol of something to worry about, but she became a symbol of hope. She became something that represented what we all live for. I always look at Clementine season two as being defined by survivor's guilt. Stuff has happened, time has gone by, and she's not as trusting immediately of people she meets, and they're not trusting of her. The whole season of season two was about kind of weighing the options of how do you define your own family. One of the more defining characters that she meets in season two is Carver. In episode three, you know, he's basically like, you're not like the rest of them. You're meant to lead, you're not meant to follow. You can make the hard decisions. It is not difficult at all when things like the finale of season two happen where you have to make this horrible decision to feel that. I really legitimately felt so horribly sad in that session. What a horrible, tragic ending. I was actually surprised at how many people uh, in the end ended up going off on their own. The Clementine you meet at the beginning of season three is definitely shaped by the events of two. She's had a really rough go of it. Those that do survive generally tend to be those that have withdrawn into themselves and found internal strengths to kind of deal with the horrors. It all seemed to fit very well with where she's at in season three. There are times when I'm, when I'm doing Clementine's voice in season three where she is a bit lower than my voice. This area I have to speak in my throat, I can't really explain it. Season two was all about her trying to make a go of it in new families and new communities and how that really did not go well. Over the course of season three, she meets a family with which by the end, it did work. And so she's, I think, rejuvenated. In The New Frontier, Clem got to see something that she hadn't been exposed to in a long time. A functional family, a family that was still caring for each other throughout everything that they had gone through in the world of The Walking Dead so far. And she set out at the end of A New Frontier with one singular goal in mind, which was to find AJ and make that again for herself. Now, what she's gonna do when she finds him, that is the story of season four, that is the story of future Clem. Who she wants to be, who she wants to be with, and how she wants to be, those are decisions the player's gonna make. It was hearing from the fans all the way through season one and hearing that response, and that's what drove our decision to play as her in this fourth and final season. You will play as Clem, this will be Clem's story. It's going to be an amazing experience. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. It's been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and so much uh, love has been behind this whole experience. Good luck. I'll be right there with you.